Hey everybody, let's jump into a quick lesson where we use layers and text to build a basic graphic inside of On One Photo Raw 2024. So inside of this travel-esque photo here, let's enhance it quite a bit by bringing in some custom text, and we'll also quickly copy and paste a logo from the internet. So within layers here, besides having the ability to resize our layers pane to fit different layers and some other basic UI and UX enhancements, one major upgrade to the layers pane is having text as its own separate layer. So to add in text as its own layer, all we have to do is select this T icon here. Now we have our text there. We have this properties dialog where we can also modify the font and we can modify the size there. First things first though, let me just go in here and type in what I want it to say. I'm just gonna type in van life there. Let's also grab this text and let's enhance the size a bit. We'll make it quite a bit larger there. And then I'll resize this text box to fit the text that I'm using. Let's also just drag this down sort of near the bottom there so that we can see that font a little bit better. So we've placed our text there within the scene. And remember, because text is its own separate layer, you can mask and modify the text any way you would any other layer. I think it looks fine just like this, so I'm probably gonna leave it as is. And now that we have the text and our travel photo here, let's actually bring in a quick logo from the internet. We'll just copy and paste it and quickly incorporate it into our graphic here. So I've just navigated to the Volkswagen logo and I'm just going to right click, I'll choose copy image there. We'll go back into photo raw and all we have to do is just paste that just like that and it will paste it into our layers pane. So I'm gonna grab that logo there and I'll just position it down at the bottom there below my van life text there. And we've instantly created a nice little graphic with some text and a logo and it didn't take any time at all. And remember, we can always go back and readjust or remodify any of these layers if we need to. So for example, if you want to modify that travel photograph, just select that image there. You can go in and modify the develop, local, portrait, sky, effects tabs, and really bring out any look that you're going for. I think I'm just gonna go into the effects tab, add a filter, and we're just gonna add a borders filter. And in my borders here, I'm just gonna go down to the bottom and I'll fit this image to make sure that I have the majority of that scene within the border. Now, one thing that may look nice here is just bringing this Volkswagen logo down a little bit so that it's so sort of overlapping the border and the scene there. And we may also grab that van life text and let's just drag that down a little bit lower as well. And so in just a few steps there, we've created a nice little graphic by just bringing in some text, copying, pasting a logo, and then adding on a border to our scene there. And if we never, if we ever need to go back and readjust these layers here, we can always look at what is being applied to them by just using that arrow right there. If we double click, whatever effect or develop setting is there, it will instantly take us into that region and we can then readjust or remodify if we need to. So that's how to use the all new layers pane instead of photo raw to quickly enhance your image with some text and a quick logo. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.